All right, guys, welcome back to Remnant 2. All right, we're in the Great Hall now. We just cleared another dungeon in the last one, and now we're going to move on to this one. Still doing our standardish setup. We got a shotgun with some acid rounds on it now. Uh, we put the lightning one on to our revolver, and this looks like it needs a key ball of some sort. Um, yeah, we're, we've gone back to the shockwave one because instead of that indomitable skill, because it just didn't feel like it was really doing anything for us. And I'm also using, I'm back to the great sword as well. I really liked the spear, but I, I just, I, this one's upgraded and I just really haven't been getting very much scrap. So I'm pretty tight on what I actually upgrade right now. So you guys. I don't, still don't know where their critical spot is. Like, the armor protects their face. So, just keeping it nice and cool. Moving casually through. No need to rush it, right? Yeah. Hi, friend. Dodge. God, that, like, extra charge attack. They charge so far past us that when I do my, like, extra dash attack thing, I end up overshooting them. Holy and I hell. can't seem to correct it right now. I, I can probably do it better, but we'll see. There's somebody... Hey, another tome. I'm still, man, I'm also still stuck on these things. Like, maybe I need to do more of the story, right? Because right now, these are all the traits I have. And I don't like having just these traits. I'm sure there's much, many more to get. And I probably just have to go through the actual story to get them. But right now, I'm kind of just ignoring them. I wasn't expecting a whole bunch of flying assholes. Get ready to get them as they come around the corner. Oop, he dodged. That's fine. He's down. We'll move in with the sword. No need to spend our bullets. I think that's the best way I found to deal with those flying guys and stuff. Just make sure you pull them into a, uh, a spot that they, like, have to come around corners and stuff. Because if you get them all surrounding you in a big open space, it's not good. Like, you get messed up, man. So you gotta keep them all from one direction. Oh, hello, friend. Activate our acid bullets. Start hitting them with it. Boom, boom, boom. Shockwave to stagger and... Oh, he's got little shades. Boom. Oh, what the fuck? I haven't, he didn't do this before that I remember. Shockwave, dodge forward. Boom, boom, boom. One more. He's gone. All right, we lost our little respawn thing, which is a bit of a bummer. But, I mean, we pulled it off. And we lost a maximum HP. That's also kind of gross. I guess we're going to explore right here. There's an elevator behind us. We'll finish checking out this space, though. Just got to make sure we have all our weapons reloaded. You want to make sure you have them reloaded, because, man, it sucks when you get into a spot and your guns That's are not ready. Odd. What is this? So is that... Huh. So are these, like, the lower, like, the lower, quote-unquote, fey, and then that was, like, the upper class. Like, see how he's got wings on these guys don't? When we went to Ironboro, I mean, those guys looked like just kind of regular-ish people, regular elfy people or something, right? Can we open this? There's going to be some other way to get into it. So, it's really crazy that they would make a hall dedicated to this. I also wonder if that pretender guy... Well, no, because, like, if he was... I mean, I guess he could just be an asshole, but I was just thinking, I was like, maybe he came from, like, these lower class and then usurped him and you... But he's not really treating them any better. So maybe he's just a jerk or maybe he didn't come from there. Who knows? All right, let's see where this elevator takes us. We're keeping an eye for any, like, secret tunnels on the way down. But try anyways. As much as I can. I don't think there were, but I wasn't able to watch all of it. Some guys up ahead. We'll start it off with a revolver. Okay. Just start pinging them from a distance. Okay, this is it. There's an item there. It looks like a ring, maybe. It'd be kind of cool. Anybody else? No. Okay, let's see what it is. Yeah. Oh no, indignant <laughs> fetish. Is it a amulet? Okay, our amulet that we have right now is pretty good because it like helps with our movement speed and stamina cost for every point of armor encumbrance. And our armor's got a lot of armor. It's got a lot of encumbrance. Um, oh, so anytime we take damage from enemies, it increases all damage dealt and reduces damage taken. Oh, that's. Let's give it a go. Let's see how different it feels. Let's see if I feel a lot slower. I do feel a little slower, I think. 
My friend. Ready? Dodge. There we go. Oh, see, I just keep overshooting it. It's really obnoxious. Oh, here comes some more. Dodge. 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 Oh, it's still too early on those dodges. His follow-up attacks are a lot slower, you know. A lot of these attacks are like that, man. They're just, just that little bit slower. And so you actually need to, like, not go, like, rapid, like, avoiding them. We're just unloading. Get ready to move. Oh, it's too slow. Oh, I'm in trouble. I think I died. I can't tell. I'm in the wall. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. <laughs> Bummer. Oh, just casually stepped to the side. No big deal. No elite, though? Hmm. I feel like there's gonna be one. There was one before. Got some goodies. Oh, hey, friend. Oh, what a bummer. Spend all that time climbing the thing just to get freaking chopped off at the legs. There we go. Search to this. Alright, easy enough. Oh, here he comes. Here comes the big boy. We're gonna spin this out like this. Oh, nope, we didn't work. Dodge. Oh, oh! That other archer is gonna be a problem. Shockwave now. Deal some damage. Wait. Oh, oh. There we go. Dodge. Oh, he still got us. Big chops. Finish him off. Moving over. We're gonna use a lightning ball. Nice. That lightning ball is pretty good. It's great for all those like AOE guys or like big well, groups of guys, especially when they're like flying around like that, like a bunch of jerks. And you can just lob it up there and catch them in like a tight chokehold. It's really good. I didn't use a healing because we have this regeneration right here. There's a path to the left and a path to the right. Let's see, that goes down. This is still kind of the same level. This also goes down, so maybe just a different section, different way down. Hmm. I could totally break all these crates. I'm pretty sure they have fine scrap and things like this. Or not. Ugh. There's scrap. Wow, six. <laughs> dodge. Good dodge. Okay. We're going to go check this little dark spot before we head out over there. Because that looks like it could be pushing towards the end of some area. And then this should just be the ramp back up. Yeah. Okay. So both of the paths just take us on the other side of this. And then we go over here, and what do we find? Door that doesn't open. Another path up, path straight ahead. We'll say straight ahead for right now. I hear them. Maybe they're up ahead on the right or above us. That didn't sound very good. It's a door. Shortcut of some kind. Oh, the elevator, so that, so we're right up there, the uh, waypoint that we go to has an elevator, so that'll drop us down here, so it's a shortcut. That's good. Let's go back over here and go up now. What is this? Hello? A dumb waiter? Secrets? Where's that gonna take us? Doesn't sound very good. Can I open this? Is this, are people getting like butchered for food? That's like the impression I'm getting right now. It's a book for some lore. Roast bushelk. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. But what is this? This recipe can be used to prepare any kind of meat, but especially designed for bushelk. Okay. Interesting. Uh, blood cake, cup of Nara blood. It's almost any animal's blood. Okay, so they're totally, totally just making things out of um, <laughs> other like fae or people or something. Is this gonna be like another butcher fight, like in the first game. Ugh. Aha, there we go. Ravenous medallion. Okay, perfect. So I was wondering. I was like, there has to be something because there's that door over by the start that had like a spot. Yeah. 
So the crest is that of the king's feast master, which makes sense considering we're in like kitchen. We're hearing people, I'm assuming, getting slaughtered. Um, and it's covered with a greasy film that won't come off no matter how much you clean it. They say that before being placed in his current position, the king's feast master was a murderer scheduled for the gallows. I believe it, for there are none who love the artistry of slaughter more than he. Lovely. Okay. So we're coming up and we're going to get ourselves a nice boss fight. We good. All right. We are rested up. Got the... Oh, no. Please don't mess with me right now. I'm trying to fight a guy right now. Dodge forward to avoid that. Stop. Okay. Now that... No. No more fighting. I've got things to do. Let's go ahead and use you. All right. Oh, hi. Eat, huh? There was a story about a creature who just king. ate and ate and ate. Wait for the king. Okay. The flesh grows cold. It must be eaten. I don't know that I want to, man. It looks kind of gross. Um... I'm sure. Ugh. Yeah, the king's never going to show up, though, because he got usurped. Here we go. We're going to eat some. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Ravenous. There we go. There we go. Well on our way. Anybody else? Does that mean I need more food? I bet I need more food. Oh, can I please hit the guy? Oh, come on. We're gonna heal up, maybe? Nope, it didn't work. So we need to eat food, I think. I think that's the only way this is going to work. And the elite guy. Dodge roll. And what's this? Activate it. I've got to respawn. Maybe that'll keep me up and going. Okay. Maybe I can eat some food. Come on. Come on. Come on. Food. Look. It's... Eat it up. Cool. Dodge roll. Bang. Bang. We're going to go to this. Shoot this out. Power it up so it's hitting a big range of dudes. There we go. Almost got him. Oh, what the? What hit me? Oh, that dude from a distance. That's not cool. Dodge roll. Move. Shockwave. Hitting a bunch of them. Oh, I missed. That's a bummer. We're going to have to try and get some food here in a moment. Damn it. Okay. I bet I could shoot that one dude, and that would be an event thing, too. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's fun. Let's do it again. Yeah, it, I knew it was going to be a bad idea. I mean, one, it's rotted, but also, like, it's all fey inspired Like, you don't eat fey food. It's, it's bad. It's bad for you. Gone. go reload now keep ourselves topped off whenever we can right switch to this now we do have our respawn thing so we can definitely kind of use that to our advantage right there we go oh, oh hello friends oh we're taking a lot of damage here that's not what we need bang 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 move forward drop him Activate this. Dodge. Way too early. Using that. And then start unloading. Dodge. He staggered though, so we didn't need to. Move forward. Dang. Got any more dudes? Okay, we're not really hurt anymore, so it's like not super necessary. We're actually going to do this. That's going to hit some dudes for us, which is good. Bang. Get it a little bit in increased range. Switch the shotgun because that's got some good... 
recovery and just bring things down. Slimmed over. Oh, we're in trouble now, though. Yeah, okay, I messed that up. Oh, can I eat those people? I mean, they're glowing red. That sounds awful. Owie. Food, food, food. Eat it up, eat up, eat up. There we go. Do I protect the guests? Is that what I'm doing here now? Ow, what the? Well, maybe I can... can I... I can. Oh, I can eat them. Oh, no. That's awful. Shockwave. I didn't get him. I tried to eat him up. I was a little off, though. Move now. We got to reload. I'm going to switch to this because I want the AoE if I can. Get that fire off of us. The armored flying guys are awful. Oh. Oh, there's bunches of big guys now. Oh my god. Okay, moving around. Got like no stamina. That's a problem. Eat him. Okay, where are they at? Oh! Hit him with some big hits. Come on, bring him down. Okay, good. Reload it. Who's shooting shit at me? Oh, it's an elite guy. Okay. Well, I can eat him real fast, and then that'll be enough to keep me going for a moment. Sorry, guy. I feel bad, but... Oh, we did it. Okay. I mean, that was... That was a little tough, but it was fun. Oh, dumb waiters. Bringing things in. I bet this would go down to those little rooms that we couldn't open before. So, um, do I get an item? Ammo and stuff? What about him? What's he have to say? Uh, thou, I remember thee again. Yeah. My memory is foggy. Uh, had we a feast? Yeah, man. <laughs> such uh, such a feast. The revelry stole my memory. Witness this table, but of course we had a feast, a uh, best in many years to look at it, and, and be our honored guest. Oh, right, there it is. There's the reward. Ooh, neckbone necklace. Um, tell me about the new king. king okay. He's a different name, sir. Interesting. Yeah, is it Phelan or Phaeron? Uh huh. What happened to the old king? The one true king. Yeah. But. Yeah, face, praise a new king. What exotic creature have you prepared? It's a wonder we knew nothing. I know not what they were called, but they were plentiful here. Oh, it's probably those, like, see, down in Ironborough, you know, they had the Huntress is out there, so they've been, like, collecting people. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm sure. Night, day and night. Looks like it. You must be tired, then. Let's start with there. We're going to be a little tacked. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll be going now. Let's take a look at the necklace. What's it do? So, ooh. Reduce the damage of status effects applied to wear by 50%, gain 25% increased damage when suffering from a status effect or blight. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's like a wishbone. Ah, wishes are deadly, dangerous things. Oh, to make a wish is harmless, of course, but to have one granted? If such a thing could be done without cost, the world as we know it would cease to be. There is, therefore, always a cost. Interesting. I guess it depends on whether or not I'm actually, like, getting statuses on me or not. Huh. I wonder if I could shoot him now. <laughs> I haven't used any of my healing items. I did oh, use my cool. respawn. I'm going to try and shoot him. We're going to see what happens. Nope. 
Nothing? Wonder if I could have shot him before. Huh. Alright, well, let's go down these dumbwaiters and then see if we can't get an item. Uh, I believe... No, it was the one on the right, I believe, that had something underneath it, right? Yeah. Let's go in. So maybe that was the point of the dumbwaiter down below, is to show you, like, hey, this is a thing you can do. Oh. Hi. One of these executionary type of guys, huh? Dodge. Oh, we gotta watch out. Dodge. And back in. Good hit. Alright. Good fight. Clean fight. Cracked a mod damage. Okay, that's cool. It's, oh, it's one of those pig things we see running around the town. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people in cages. That's no good. What does this say? Uh, Ist of the Turn of Delight. Seal good. Dropper. Peek of beans. Crook out up. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I'm running low on several items, especially buttered meat and ash bean. Make sure a supplier comes through this turn. Oh, goodness me. More stuff. Shorted us on meat again. Blame it on dubious disease. I told him if it happens again, we'll get our bullshilk somewhere else. Uh, more stuff. No bullshilk or Han. They even ran out of Jubhawk. Well, they have plenty of eggs, I notice. Let's find another source before the next feast or the king will have my head. Yep. Yeah. Thank the mother. I found a new supply of meat. A plentiful one at that. One I need to deal with its busiest supplier ever again. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one. We're just going to go in with a shotgun. And activate. And then unload. Easy enough. What is this? Ooh. Ooh, it's a weapon bone chopper. Ooh. Sounds kind of cool. It's an axe of some kind. Okay, so it's a much faster weapon at least. It's more damage than that one. Excellent for separating flesh from bone. Charge for double attacks. Okay. My folk have always been industrious and hardworking, using what was around them and shaping it to their liking, not in the manipulative, magical ways of these fey, but with a straightforward, visceral process of nature herself. Interesting. Let's give it a let's give it a whirl. Huh. Neat. Pretty rapid. Sounds good. Open it up and Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've gone done what we can. I don't have anything I can do for them, I don't think. Oh. Can I free them? I do. The red one. I guess they're all enemies now because I got that one. It's kind of awful. But also, like, they're going to get eaten. So I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know that I have any other mercy to give them. I didn't open that door. Huh. Oh, see, I didn't really look very closely at what this is. This is all nasty, rotted meat and stuff. Eww. Gnarly. Let's try this action on these guys. Hi, guys. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Feels pretty good, actually. Dodge. Dodge again. Oh, good charge. The charge attack comes out pretty quick, which is nice. Oh, elite guy. Oh, one of them. Okay. I wasn't really prepared to deal with... Oh. Got the sword. That gets rid of the projections. Good to know. I thought I reloaded. Can I get rid of that? There it goes. What the heck? Why didn't some of those last attacks seem to connect? Interesting. Okay, so we're back in this hallway. And this room makes a little more sense now, right? Because these aren't like lower fey class or something like that. They're an entirely different species that the Fae got access to, like their world, and then started preying on them, right? And that's what this whole scene is supposed to do. 
Ooh, and these all break too. Interesting. Can't climb on anything. So this is the door I didn't get open before, right? And there is a whole nother chamber connected to it. And I there's got to be a way to open it. And the bad thing is, this room's not connected. It's not like right above something below it. It could be maybe some way I could go from up here and like somehow drop down into it, maybe? We're going to do some looking around. We're going to check and find out. Ah. All right, so I just started like running around and breaking all the things in this room we're trying to break as many things as possible and there's a little hole here so we're gonna drop down there's a bunch more of just like petrified drown okay okay I wonder if they drop any scrap. If I should like absolutely be breaking all of them or not. It only ever drops a tiny amount anyways. Oh, that's like a that's like a drop drop. Okay. Oh, we're slow. Oh, that, that's a big boy. Let's go ahead and activate Indomitable now. Drain and Rat Swarm. I'm sorry, what? We're just going kind of ham. Big swings in. Big swing in. Look at that damage we're doing. We're just chunking them out. That's alright, we have our Die Hard. It doesn't even matter. We didn't even need it. Yeah. Steadfast Mutator. Some other goodies. Corrupted Luminite. Nice. Awesome. Let's see what that Mutator thing does. Uh, go check under here. Open this up. That one. Steadfast. So charge melee attacks cannot be interrupted. And gain 10% damage reduction from all sources. Wow. Then if you upgrade it enough, all damage taken during a charged melee attack is converted to gray health. Huh, that could be pretty good for us later, you know, because if um if we are getting a lot of gray health regeneration, that could be pretty sweet. See, that one would be kind of cool too, where like at level 10, charge melee attacks consume all the shield to increase the damage of the next strike by 1% per blah, blah, blah. Could be pretty good. Huh. Maybe we'll give it a go. Let's give it a go. All right, so we're going down this side now. What oh, is another elite dude? Okay. We're just going to drop out this right now. Boom. Go ahead and start unloading. Easy enough. Yeah, stay away from that acid. Wow, this is a lot more extensive than I thought it would be. I really thought I would just, like, you know, uh, get a little secret passage. Oh, shit. Uh, and then it would take me into those little side rooms, and that would be that. But, um, apparently not. This is... There's a lot more going on here. I gotta check my map again. I don't know that I... Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like I've gotten pretty much everything so far. We'll check this little room, and then we'll go over to the side. Oh, yeah, there's an item. Oh, wait. Oh, we got to circle around to get it, maybe? Can I go... How do I reach it? Oh, we got to break through there and climb up. Okay. Ooh. Ornate flail. What? Okay. So, an intricately... Well, let's do the actual description. How about that? So, a weapon was designed under the assumption that if you break enough bones, it won't matter whether your enemy's actually dead or not. <laughs> yeah. The Fae, perhaps more than most, revere the utility of death. Bloodshed has always proven an expedient solution to problems otherwise too pr troublesome to solve. An intricately forged mace with unique designed airways allows smaller wielders to get the mace up to speed much quicker. All right. Let's um let's equip it, you know. Kind of take a look at what the move it's like. Cool. And I think it fits like the other one. You could Oh, look at that. This is your charge attack, then whoosh. That's pretty cool. Dodge back, swing in, dodge back charge attack. Nice. How about a roll attack? Alright. That's pretty cool. I wasn't sure what I would find in this place, but it's, dude, this secret has gotten me a lot more than I uh, expected. Oh, okay. Now we're here. Okay, go through this door. Man, there's a bunch of locked doors. It's, I'm surprised, like, they locked so many of these things, because honestly, like, how would I get into the middle of any of this progress? Ooh, and a ring. Sapphire Dreamstone. Okay. Uh, critical hits reduce skill cooldowns by 3%. 
Oh, can only happen once every two seconds. That's pretty cool, too. If I, I mean, if you're getting a lot of critical hits, like you're doing the hunter thing or something, this would probably be really good. A bright blue color reminiscent of clear lakes and cloudless skies found only in paintings and dreams is striking on whatever finger it adorns. Whoever owned it before possessed strong and expensive tastes. The one true king appointed a personal scribe to record his greatest deeds and most idle musings. The position was never permitted to leave the king's side and thereby belonged to the fae the king trusted the least. Haha, <laughs> interesting. Do you think that was the uh, the pretender then? I didn't think that. I didn't think the scribe was the pretender. The pretender was the scribe for the one true king. But based on that, it kind of sounds like that was him. Huh. Nice. All right. Well, I think that feels like I got everything here. That's pretty cool. Dude. All right. So I was like, oh, yeah, I, f I think I found all the secrets, right? No, there's more. I was like, all right, I'll try and talk to this guy some more and see if he's got anything else. And then, you know, what do I do? Oh, I look over and I'm like, huh, that looks weird. And sure enough, look at that. You just walk through the fire a little bit. Yeah, you know, you catch on fire, but no big deal. And then look, there's a little ring, the Feastmaster Signet. Oh, dude, there's... there's uh, ah. All right, what does it say? Uh, increases active concoction limit, concoction limit by one. Uh, that's kind of cool if you're like big into using that that's probably pretty solid nearly all your senses tell you this is an ordinary silver ring set with an ordinary gem but the heady smell or heady smell of wine lingers whenever you wear it the feast master takes great pleasure in preparing his feasts though some say his only true pleasure is partaking in them interesting man dude i'm there's so many secrets in each of like the levels and i mean it was like that in the first game because like you know i played through a bunch of it came back was doing some more again and i kept finding things in places i had already been through and i was just like dude how long how long has that has that stuff been there like did i just miss it did they add it like it, there's definitely something with like this game like you could easily come in here clear it through maybe find a couple items or two defeat you know the event the boss get another item and then call it good but then i mean frankly look i found like just now i just found one two three more things plus that uh special dude that dropped the mutator and the corrupted luminite like i'm gonna ha i'm gonna have to go back through a bunch of the other like zone sections and check them for more stuff because who knows what i missed dang all right well <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for watching. You know, I always really appreciate it when people watch, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, take care.